All right, so this is probably one of the most ridiculously weird and also super fun pairs of sneakers to release in 2021. We have Salehi Bemberry back with New Balance to create this masterpiece. So let's go ahead and get to the video on the Yurt 574s from Salehi Bemberry with New Balance. Hey, what is going on guys? Hess here, hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you guys are already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you guys can hit that notification bell, much appreciated. This video is gonna be sponsored by Kicks World, who actually sent these over. If you haven't heard of Kicks World before, it's the world's first premier online sneaker subscription service. Uh, check out the link in the description. It'll save you between, I think, 35 and 45% off of your first month. But any which way, check the link in the description. It'll give you more information about the services they provide on a really clean and polished website. The Yurt 574s, this is one of those uh, shoes that I'm really excited to get in hand because uh, honestly, it's like not a 574. I mean, this is a regular 574 as you can see here, and then this is the Hero uh, V6. So both of these models are really good. So it's kind of crazy because it's almost like they took those two models and then added even more to it to create this shoe right here. This is a beefy, beefy shoe. Like even comparison to this one, look at the butt. I mean, it's just massively huge. So this is a serious, serious big beefy chunky chunky shoe right here but it's chunky in the butt but it also has a little bit something up here uh which is a whistle it's hilarious when you see people's reactions for the first time of the whistle and i have this little clip that i want to share with you guys of my wife reacting and then harrison blowing the whistle it's just ridiculous uh, harrison say somebody needs your help somebody needs help. i got him <laughs> Help. Whistle on your shoe. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's so good. Like right. gonna do it, Harrison, Harrison, call for help. <laughs> oh my All right, we got him. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I mean, this is like real life. This is what happens uh, when you have uh, random fun sneakers like these. So I think that they're fun. Uh, I think that it's definitely interesting definitely wild and really really chunky not going to be for everybody uh but uh but i love what he's doing with the brand and the fact that he kept a lot of the same energy from the 2002 r's which are amazingly nice quality materials and the way the layers are on the 2002s are nuts they have the same sort of layers and the same mesh here on the toe the same sort of hairy suede on the upper as well and a couple different layers uh for this one also so it's not like it's a little bit of a 574 it's really a yurt like the yurt model is its own thing there's nothing that is even close to this on the market so i think that it's cool that new balance has given him some creative freedom because honestly he crushed it with a handful of collabs over here and if you didn't see this video that i did i was honestly really wanting to see what the hype was about salihi Bemberry. i didn't even know how to say his name properly before i did this video and then i did a lot of deep dives and digging into who he is as a creative and he really is one of those visionary people that are going to be changing the landscape of sneakers even more and more and if you haven't seen his crocs collab that's another one soon that i definitely need to get my hands on because uh, i'm a fan of crocs nowadays and his version of the crocs look really really incredible but any which way the yurt the uh, materials on here, the layers are crazy. The blue, it's almost like a double mesh. It's a fine mesh underneath and then a larger mesh over top. Super nice. I don't know what this material is over top. It's not leather. It's almost like uh, a weatherproof type material. And then they also have that same material on 
the end for the logo. Also very interesting, they use like that Harry suede on the sides of the tongue. So it's like some extra material there that didn't need to be there, but I like the fact that they added in. It looks really cool and adds a nice little effect to the tongue. In this colorway, you have a couple hits of red on the underside of the tongue, the liner, and the backside of the end logo. But they have so many different color combinations on this specific uh, version that it's it's just nuts. There's so many different colors going on. Also the midsole. So it says you have the roll bar right here, which is a hard plastic material. And you can see it's on this side as well. I'm assuming this is probably for some sort of stability. Uh, it's a huge stability plate if that that. And then there's also comes up around the collar here. It looks like maybe down through and around and under. So definitely a big, huge chunk of uh, plastic there. Then you have this foam material with a very yurtish sort of vibe, if that's a word, uh, around the midsole with these little pods all the way back. Here you have the absorb material inlaid inside of the midsole with a little sticky absorb material. It kind of adds a cool little effect on the midsole. And I have no idea what these little gel buttons are back on the back of the shoe. It's just another little weird detail that's really fun. Probably should have done a lot more research on these to understand the design concept, but I wanted to give you just kind of my overall initial thoughts. You have that exaggerated outsole that extends out the back, which is very similar to what we have uh, in this pair right here, the, the Hero 6s. Pretty rugged traction pattern on the bottom of the shoe as well. And this colorway has some speckles in that outsole traction too, which is kind of a nice uh, look. It kind of makes it feel like you've been walking in dirt a little bit. You have a Salehi Benberry tag on the side of the shoe right here. And then also it does say yurt on the tongues. Also another call out, which is really interesting. They have a textured insole liner thing here, which is really cool looking and it feels kind of cool to the touch. But so how is the sizing on these? I got a 9.5 men's US and I got to say they run super, super big. I probably should have got a size nine to fit these, but this is one of those shoes you could wear with really thick socks as well. Probably maybe a camping shoe. I don't really know what you're going to do with these. But how do you guys feel about the yurts? Do you guys feel that these are genius or not? Or are you guys not on this wave on to the next one? I really think that the creative space that Salehi Benberry is in, he really probably has to like extend himself out there and just really put himself out there and be a little bit vulnerable when he's creating something like this, which is, again, super crazy outside of the box. Maddie, does somebody need my help? Maddie needs my help. I'm gone. I'm on it. Awesome. But it's fun to be able to see his his piece be the journey like evolution from uh, these guys onward and I feel like he's definitely going to be one of those people to watch in the future with all the other collaborations that he probably has in the works. So excited to see more from him. I think these are crazy. They're actually pretty comfortable on feet. They're very, very heavy though. These are one pound, one ounce each. So these are super heavy on feet, but I think that it's a, a fun, interesting looking pair of sneakers. And I'm glad I got to give them a try. I know you guys are going to say it, but Kicks World is going to clean the heck out of these whistles when I send them back to them. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in Kicks World, check the link in the description uh, to their subscription service. And hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more videos very soon. All right, peace guys.